The work is done, the hay is in the barn. It's time to give Newport Marathon a good crack. What is up guys, Andy Forrester, Dean Runner here. Welcome back to another video. And this is the final week, week 13, of my Newport Marathon training series. So this is it, the final week is here. Delighted to bring this one to you. And just very quickly, a massive thanks to everyone who's tuned in over the 13 weeks of this series to follow along for the journey. It means so much to me and I'm delighted to be sharing one last featured workout and my thoughts are leading into the race. So for one last time, if you're excited for today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And we're gonna dive in straight away to the featured workout. So good morning and welcome to the final featured workout of this at Newport Marathon training block. Buzzing, five days till race day. It's Wednesday today, out here getting the final one done. I'll let Will explain for one last time what we have today. Right then, Rainer, it is the week. This is your last taper week with that race at the end. So what have we got in store? Well, a lot of people, I feel in their last taper week, just kind of neither go too hard or they don't do enough. So what we wanna do is reduce the volume from about last week to between 90, 85%. You're looking more 85% when you've been on bigger volume for your marathon, more like 90 when you're not quite as hitting the miles as some of the other boys or girls. So we're gonna look more towards that kind of 85% mark, drop in volume. So your midweek long, it's not really a midweek long anymore. It's only going to be 60 minutes, just 60 minutes, nice and steady. Your session in the middle of the week on your Wednesday is just going to be ticking the legs over. Nothing crazy. We don't really want to be burning through your glycogen storage. You're kind of, you hear people having the pasta parties. Well, this is where it's beginning to actually start to kick in. So it's just going to be four by a mile at marathon pace with a 90 second rest. Nothing more, nothing less, just feeling good. Thursday, just 50 minutes steady. Friday, day off. Saturday, important, just 30 minutes easy. Nothing more crazy. You don't even really wanna be doing strides. A lot of people do strides before most races. Marathon, we'll leave it. Different ball game. Marathon day, Sunday, big session, 26.2 miles at marathon pace. Still want to do a warm up before, just 10 minutes easy, go through the motions of the drills, nothing crazy, maybe a couple of easier strides, just get the legs sticking over, staying nice and warm. And then, Mr. Rayner, it's over to you. This block has been fantastic. You put in so much hard work and you've been sensible. Really proud of you. Whatever happens on Sunday, you can be proud of that. Go smash it. Thousands of people behind you. You've got this. So there we go, four by a mile. Simple, right? At marathon pace. Uh, yeah, excited for this one just to get it done. Because this time in the marathon training block for London, uh, I got shot down by a sniper. <laughs> uh, my back absolutely went to pieces and that was basically the end of my London dreams. So I've made sure I've done a really good warm up today and the drills and strides will be imperative. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to this. I'm feeling good. A couple of observations uh, leading into this taper week. I haven't suffered with maranoia at all this time. I just feel like the more I do these things, the more I'm starting to understand my body. What's a phantom niggle and what's not. Touch wood touch wood i haven't had any which is great i'm having a couple of days off uh leading up to uh, over the weekend has really let my glutes settle down the only thing i wish would happen is my legs feel like lead this week they have not felt good at all and this morning they feel very very heavy so i'm hoping by sunday that they'll feel good but other than that we're gonna roll straight into this oh one more thing a massive thanks one last time out here on the industrial estate to Say Sky for sponsoring this training series, this week's video, all the ones previous and leading in to the Newport Marathon itself. If I move here and point up here, you'll see FOD15 appear, a 15% discount code that you can get on Say Sky items. I have loved training in their kit, all training series. It's been absolutely fantastic. If you guys have followed the channel, you know that I've used their kit for about a year now. I've used it for ages, so it's been such a perfect collaboration with them to work with them a bit more closely during this training series, try out a lot more of their kit um, and have their support throughout this blog. And of course, into the marathon itself. So if you wanna grab any of their kit, make sure you check out that discount code. Head to their website, use it, 
get some of their stuff. It is flipping amazing. I'm going to be repping it all summer. I absolutely love it. So once again, a massive thanks to Say Sky for sponsoring this week's video. We're going to roll into the drills and strides as always. We'll show Monday and Tuesday clips and then we'll get in to the workout. So here we go, the final week. It is Monday and the one thing that hasn't changed all block is 45 minutes on a Monday. It's a good one today. Bank holiday out with Lee again. He's got the day off, so we're just getting out a little bit later and enjoying some of the wet, mushy trails. Just feeling good this morning. Glute is absolutely fine. Everything feels good. Happy with the decision made last week. Uh, Stay a couple of days off. So gonna roll into this week. So good morning and welcome to a beautiful Tuesday morning. Out here getting a medium long run done. Well, not so much a medium long run anymore. 60 minutes moderate is what is on the cars today. The last one of the block. Uh, I'm moving a bit quick. I'm not gonna lie. Excitement, fresh after the weekend's rest. I keep telling myself, just calm down. <laughs> but I'm so buzzing, it's unreal. So yeah, just enjoying this morning. 60 minutes moderate. First bit on the industrial estate. Now hitting the trails. Just gonna enjoy it. Seeing so many deer already out on the roads, let alone what we're gonna see out here. So yeah, buzzing for this one. I'll see you later for the easy double. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is British weather for you at its finest. This morning, a beautiful day with the prospect of incredible weather. This afternoon, it's vile. <laughs> Gale force winds. I've got a tailwind right now. It's why I'm recording here. And uh, disgusting rain. Out here getting the last double done. Just keeping it really nice and easy today. Um, 40 minutes, usually 45, but whatever. There's a small loop that takes me around 38 minutes. So I'm just gonna do that. And uh, yeah, just feeling really good. first rep. Bang on. I wish this wind would do one though. It's just been with me all training block. <laughs> rep 2, 554, wind assisted. I relaxed a little bit too much on that one. <laughs> you know when the wind's behind you and it goes deadly silent, you can feel a, a gentle push. I just zoned out. <laughs> So, focus on these last two. Here we go, third rep done. 5.53. Feeling good, really feeling good. Just uh, one more to go. There we go, 551 for that last one. So that wraps it up. 555, 54, 53, 51. Um, yeah, felt good this morning. Glutes there, I'm not gonna lie. I can feel it. Um, it's not 100% fully recovered, but I don't think it's gonna play too much of an impact on Sunday. So now the goal is simply to uh, get two more runs done. Tomorrow, Thursday, 50 minutes easy. A little 30 minute shake out on Saturday and roll the dice on Sunday. Really excited for that one. Really happy this one's got done. Get a quick cool down done. 
and get home. So the workout went really, really well. Really happy with it. Delighted to get through that one unscathed because unlike London Block, that was the one that shot me down and uh, basically ruined London. So feeling good. Um, after that, I think the theme of this week in general has been my heart rate's been a bit higher, just a lot of nervous energy, just really, really excited. And that leads me on to talking now about Thursday, no, Friday and Saturday's run. So welcome to Thursday, 45 minutes, nice and easy today, the day after the session. Feeling really good actually today, the legs are starting to come around, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, lots of strength and mobility in the beginning part of the week, meant the legs felt a little bit heavy, but I've laid off it now and will do until race day. So feeling a bit more poppy, which is good. Wind is still here, very strong, but hopefully that's disappearing tomorrow. Weather forecast for the weekend looks favorable. 14 degrees, but cloudy. So we'll take it. Direct sun is a nightmare um, when you're racing a marathon. Despite how cold it is or warm, it's the illusion towards the end of a marathon of sun hitting you that just, ah, oh, it's terrible. So just getting it done today. Nice and calm, nice and easy, out here on the trails. Nothing more to say. One more run on Saturday, half an hour shake out before the big day. Here we go, 30 minutes, Saturday morning, the last run. Abs I just want to go race. I'm just there in my head, I'm there already. Whatever happens is going to happen. Um, but I'm buzzing, I feel good. Uh, yeah, there's nothing more for me to say other than just extend a massive thanks to all of you for supporting the training series. It means so much. Uh, following me out here in the forest of Dean um, the last 13 weeks, building up to Newport. I really hope to see so many of you there and I hope we all have a great day. Um, no strides or anything as Will said today. I did mess up actually. Thursday was meant to be steady, I ran easy. Um, that's my fault. But uh, other than that, it's been a really solid week. I'm getting impatient. Today's gonna drag, but I'm sure tomorrow morning it'll roll around very quickly. So yeah, 30 minutes in the books. See you for the big dance. So there we have it. That is the final week done. And when I'm recording this, it's after Saturday's run. So I'm done and dusted. It's Saturday afternoon now. And I've got uh, only a few hours, I guess, left until the race. I wanna share two things with you, the plan uh, and just share a few thank yous. The plan, a lot of you have asked me what it was at the start of this training block. It was all about having, not necessarily a conservative race, but a build up to a better autumn race. I've had a few setbacks in recent marathons. And it's important for me that I use this one as a learning, uh, a learning curve, a learning step, a stepping stone if you like into the next one. So what this one has all been about is learning and getting my body ready, ready to fuel and hydrate properly throughout the race. I feel like I've made big, big progress, uh, but I'm still not there. So this is going to be a little bit of an experiment again, and it's going to take two, three, four marathons to really start to dial that in. But fingers crossed, this one will be a stepping stone. So just like Fission, 6.30 first mile, 6.20 second mile, probably a 6.10 third mile, and then lock in between 5.55 and 6.05. That's the range I've been training at, and I'll just see how it feels. If I feel like somewhere in that range I can stick, and then I'll go for it. That's exactly what I'll do. If I feel like on the day it feels too hard for whatever reason, I'll just ease back. I don't want a major blow up. I don't mind a minor blow up. These things happen towards the end of a marathon when you fade a little bit, but I just don't want a major, major blow up again like London. So I'm just gonna play it by ear, but that's the plan. So whatever that brings me in at time-wise, people ask me times, whatever that brings me in at, if I've got energy at the end, I'll kick on, but I don't think I will. So whatever that brings me in at will be the time, but that's the plan. And I just wanna say a massive thanks uh, to Say Sky for sponsoring the training series leading into the race itself and the, the race debrief vlog. They've been fantastic, their kit's amazing. Don't forget, the, dis dis blah, the discount code I've been sharing won't be live forever, uh, probably only another week or so. So if you wanna get some of their kit and you like what you've seen in the vlogs, do check it out. A massive thanks to Will uh, for his coaching over the last two blocks. This is just the start of our journey. He's got me into some insane shape and regardless of what happens at Newport, I'm buzzing to work with him later into the year. My wife, she's been incredible through this training block. Again, as she always is, support is unrivaled. Um, 
It means the world to me. She's a non-runner, but she's got my back throughout this whole thing. She's been great having the kids for me to go run and just, just, just doing stuff behind the scenes that makes this all possible. So she's amazing. And to each and every one of you, um, you've been incredible. Matt, obviously I want a special thanks to Matt as well for all his help on the long runs. He really is the spirit of London. He, his, his positivity, his enthusiasm for running, everything just makes running just so enjoyable when I'm with him. So to be able to share a lot of those long runs with him has been fantastic. And yeah, each and every one of you guys for supporting the journey. It's been incredible. Every like, comment, kudos, whatever it is, share. I appreciate it more than you realise. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. This is it. This is this is the big one now. So we're going to give it our best shot tomorrow. And that is it. So I'll throw the final stats on screen now uh, for the week. And that is it. <laughs> There's nothing more for me to say other than to knuckle down now. Fuel hydrate. Um, eat well now tonight into tomorrow morning. Have a good breakfast and we'll give Newport a good go. So for one last time, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for, throughout this training series. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider giving it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I'll see you after the race. Until then. <laughs>